Forced marriages, sexual abuse and domestic violence are significant problems for many women around the world. Parliament's Human Rights Subcommittee is examining these issues in detail as part of its inquiry into the human rights of women and girls in the Indian Ocean and Asia Pacific region. At a recent public hearing at the Auburn All Girls School in Western Sydney, hundreds of students turned out to see the committee in action. The committee heard that stamping out these human rights abuses is no easy task when victims are faced with stiff cultural resistance and a lack of access to justice. Issues in Australia's immigrant community were also raised with the committee, which was told how education is key to turning the tide. I think that is certainly the the key to the problem. Whilst we've got laws that prohibit uh, dowry issues and forced marriages, underage marriages here in Australia, I think it is very important to break through uh, the isolation a lot of people have, a lot of migrants have, uh, have in Australia, and through education uh, the human rights of women and girls will certainly be improved. And that's one of the things that uh, we've always got to keep an eye on as well. Zakia Baig from the Victorian Women's Refugee Council believes education must also be targeted at potential perpetrators. Yes, education is the key. Uh, I think when people are coming from different countries, they have lived for years and ages and generations in their countries with their own cultures. So certainly when they come here in Australia, they have a new life with new laws and new way of lives. So we can't just blame them that you are not, not you know, obeying the human rights you know, regulations. But we have to educate them first. If they are aware of human rights, if they know there is a women right or children right, because they see women and children as their possession, like their homes, their car and, you know. Australia can play a strong role in aiding the work of international organisations to bring about long-term change around the region, according to Elaine Pearson from Human Rights Watch. I think there are several things the Australian government can do. I think firstly it's important that the Australian government speaks up uh, when there are situations where women's rights are being violated. And they can do this privately, and in some cases they should also do this publicly. I think they can also support uh, women's rights groups and civil society to ensure that they also um, have the capacity and are able to participate in these discussions um, and can get their voices heard. And I think, you know, thirdly, it's also important that the aid program looks at ways in which um, it can help to empower women um, in these countries so that they're able to access and, and protect their rights. It's also important to encourage women to get into leadership roles where they can create change, as is the case in Afghanistan. So when it comes to Afghanistan, for instance, we've seen quite major developments there in ensuring more women in leadership um, positions, in ministerial positions, and also women in the police force, which I think makes a very sort of tangible difference when it comes to crimes that are being committed, violence against women, and the ability of uh, victims to really sort of report those crimes and ensure that they're protected. Students took the opportunity to question committee members on the topic. Uh, I think it was a wonderful idea because we got to experience firsthand what we're learning about through our legal study courses, and so it provides us an insight for any, for just for our learning experience. Yeah, and really it was good. really, really good to give us a feel about what, what our role in society as young people and how we can help to overcome, even though these issues are international, but how we can, I guess, overcome them. It grows our experience when um, senators come to our school. We get to we give our say and we know what our rights are and what we can contribute as young people.